Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between the Minnesota Vikings and the Washington Commanders. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. start this drive out on the ground to about the 23. Vision and speed, two of the attributes that you might say are important for a free safety, and we saw both in evidence there. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. They'll go play action. Ow. Blitz coming and down he goes. Yeah, I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Third and long. Here's Howell. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. Well, they certainly took a shot to open this game. I know it backfired with the interception, but no lack of bravado from that sideline at all. And look, they told us before the ball game, they wanted to be a little more dangerous on offense. They wanted to take a few more chances. That opening pass certainly set a tone. Maybe a turnover, but I don't think it'll stop them from trying again the rest of this game. Take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On third down, Mayfield. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed him up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change, when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. So cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. Now 
throwing on first down here. Steps away to his left. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Hal. And he's caught right at the 10 yard line. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. He'll try again. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Commanders. A great effort there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Commanders take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point splits the uprights. And it's now a 7-0 game. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They run again on first down. Cook, and he is going to lose yardage here. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They run it again with Cook. And he's got room. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. From their own 40 to the other 40. The gain of 20 leads to first and 10. Here's Mayfield. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. From the 30 on second down, Mayfield. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They suddenly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. They tried to throw on second down. Unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Moore, the man in motion. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports.
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll send a receiver in motion left. First down, here's the run with Cook. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So not only do you not get the first down, but you've also made things a lot more difficult on your field goal kicker. Yeah, they're still in range, but you're exactly right because you know the kicker's over there saying, thanks a lot, you just made my job a little tougher because when he kicks it now, he'll kick it lower because he's got to get more distance. That means there's more jeopardy for the ball to get tipped or blocked. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Their dreams of an undefeated season shattered with the loss a week ago. Now, look, whenever an undefeated team goes down, you always hear some say, well, they needed that. I don't know, Charles. Is that a narrative that you buy into? Well, I haven't met a coach yet that feels like they needed that loss. You know, that's not something that they're in favor of. But I do know this. People like us, our colleagues, all of us in the media, constantly hammering a team that's undefeated. Hey, do you think you can do it the whole season? Can you carry it the whole way? That does wear down a group, and sometimes that loss, get us off your back, you can move forward from there. On first down, Hell being chased out left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Well, the play fake, and now here's Hal to throw it. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Pal to the air on first and ten. 
He finds his man complete. It's Weaver. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. On third down, they're going to run for it here. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll try the left side. Guy. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Can this Vikings D hold up one more time? Third and goal. In motion left, the tight end. They'll try to run with Gibson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson. His ninth touchdown of the season. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They trail now 14 to three, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Mayfield off the play fake. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 18 yards the gain for number 18. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 47 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Cook again. Down to the 42, second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Getting the ball is Cook running left. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Mayfield. He's going to look deep for more. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to have it here just past the 25. Now they tried to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second and ten, Howell. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. Off play action. It's Hal. He sets to fire deep. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Lewis Seen. And the Vikings are going to take over here up near the 40. Charles Hill so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the commanders on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. 
Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They go play action. Mayfield out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, it's Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. But these guys got to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. On second and 11 now, Mayfield. And that's dropped underneath to Nwangu. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes it gets that. You can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Mayfield to throw it. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Benjamin St. Juice. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception rows they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out as confidently as they've been playing. I expect him to do exactly that. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10 to throw Mayfield on the move to his left. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and 10 upcoming. Left side, Cook. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. And they'll leave the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Moore, the man in motion. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Third down, 
Now Cook hit, and he lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up, and they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half, and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far, and that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. Extra points safely through, and they open the lead up now to 25. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get over to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blow out, let's just say it's been unusual. Now Mayfield. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And some room to maneuver. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big pickup of 38. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, what they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle. You bring your tight end over there. Either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. You've got a chance to run back. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and ten. Now a handoff running through the middle. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And they'll send the slot in motion left. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On second down, they'll run it here. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. They've been denied 
touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Mayfield now. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. They'll try to run this one in. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Vikings are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is down to 28-10. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Vikings are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. Well, that interception at least offers them a glimmer of hope here in the fourth quarter. Well, it certainly does if their offense goes out now and makes it pay off by getting into the end zone. And if it does, then they get a chance to get back out on the field and try and do it again. Maybe they can force that offense into more and more mistakes and give them a chance to get back into this one totally. Yeah, still a three-score hill to climb. We'll see if they can do it. Mayfield on play action. To the right side, and complete to Jefferson. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. This offense so far on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and seven. Throwing Mayfield. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. But defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. To throw again on second down, Mayfield. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. This one caught, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's brought down after a very nice game. First and goal, and they gotta be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Cook is in. Touchdown, Minnesota. 
The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Point after, up and good. And the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they, th if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, in that type of throw in this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. That one looks like he'll throw here. And his throw is incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. throwing on third down here. He's going to try and go deep again. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Vikings are going to get the football here at their own 23. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, it's pretty difficult to sum it up offense in a two-minute drill. When your guys are struggling to put points on the board all afternoon, there's an incompletion right there. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Mayfield. And his throw here is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely poor down territory. Time now on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. field finding Kelsey and they're able to get this one across the 35 they get 14 there first down Vikings Mayfield the throw 
And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Kareem Castro Fields who picked it, and the Commanders are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, obviously, Charles, this stage of the game, down two scores, they had to put the football in the air. Unfortunately, it gets picked off. And the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball down. He's got a man complete. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. From 13 yards out. And the Commanders have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And this win now going to look a little more lopsided on the scoreboard, CD. Now, some may have run out the clock in that scenario, but they wanted to put their foot on the gas, get one more touchdown, and they did just that. Well, partner, I would say the traditional is not overly excited about that score. They'd like to see the game played a little bit differently. But what you can't argue with is their execution of that play because it played out exactly as it was drawn up. It almost would have been a shame not to finish with such a well-run play. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull the rabbit out of their hat. There he goes, left side. 30, 10, 5. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 80 yards. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Mayfield looks to throw. Swinging this, and he loses the football a second time. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. Second down and goal, Mayfield. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's Tariq Castro Fields who picked it. And the Commanders come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So a victory here for the Commanders. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one we're thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime is really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for Washington, the victory moves him to 7-1 on the year. And they'll have another home date next week as the Indianapolis Colts come to town. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, the loss will drop them to 6-2 now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears.